Welcome to Ferry Phoenix. Now guys, TMZ reports that the police received an anonymous claim that Wendy Williams' husband was poisoning her. Now, this was during that period when Nick Cannon was filling in for her back in December. And during that time, nobody at her show, none of her staff knew what was happening with her and they became very concerned. The reports are that the police went to her home that she shared with her husband. The husband answered the door and they asked to speak with Wendy. Now, when he took them to Wendy, the police asked for a moment alone with her and he refused, saying that he needed to be there for her because she was not feeling well, so he had to be there by her side. Now, when they asked Wendy, is there a possibility that someone was poisoning her? She replied, well, I'm a very popular person. Now, I don't know what being popular has to do with someone trying to kill you, but when they asked her again, she got very emotional and she started to cry. Still, there was nothing that they could do. The police could not do anything because even though from any, anyone who has been abused, I've never been, but for those who have been abused, you know that this is someone crying out for help, but because she didn't tell them anything else, there was nothing that they could do. Now, prior to all this, Wendy had performed less than her best on her show. You know, she was slurring her words and making some mistakes, which she usually doesn't do. People were dragging her for this on social media. And so she released an apology stating that she was on pain medica medication for uh, a, a fracture that she had on her shoulder. And that was the cause of it. The medication caused her to be like that somehow. Now... A lot of people were saying that that she was fighting with her husband because she found out about his mistress, a mistress that many are saying that he has had for over 11 years. So they were saying that Wendy found out about this girl. Her name is Sharina, a.k.a. Nikki. And um, that's why she was her arm was broken or her shoulder was fractured because her husband beat her up or she beat up her husband. We don't really know what happened. So the whole situation went downhill from there. So as we now know, Wendy filed for divorce after Kevin had a baby and all these things. So Kevin had a lot to... Kelvin or Kevin, whatever his name is, he had a lot to hide and still has a lot to hide. So the question is, why would he try to kill her? Well, you know, they did have life insurance, pol life insurance policies together. Wendy released a message showing that they did share life insurance policies. And also, she appeared to be the main breadwinner. Uh, he must have known, Kelvin must have known that his secrets were going to come out. I mean, his mistress, his mistress was pregnant at the time. And, you know, you can't hide a pregnancy. Certainly, you can't hide a baby forever with the press so hungry. And so... He had a lot to hide. There was also a young man who came out to say that he had a long-term affair with Wendy's husband, or now ex-husband. So, you know, he had a lot to hide. So it is not surprising to me that he would have tried to kill her, allegedly. These things are not surprising. They happen every day, okay? So more power to Wendy because I'm happy she has separated herself from him. She filed for the divorce. She has done some... You know, she has fixed her accounts now, so he, he can't just go and take money out and give it to his mistress as, uh, as much as he wanted to. And she fired him from the show. And just recently, he was seen moving boxes and boxes up and boxes of things from their home that they shared. So it seems as if she's moving on for good. I'm very happy for Wendy, and I know she'll do fine because she's strong. I'm happy that she's not in the position for him to continue to do that if he was doing it. And for those of you who are out there and you suspect that a man or a woman may be hurting you, don't be naive. People are evil and people do do evil things. They're good people, but they're also evil people. So be mindful of that. So let me know what you think. Give a comment, like and subscribe.